Well, hello, a very good afternoon to you. How are you? Welcome to Ho Chanda. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Rachel. This is our fabulous, brand new, lovely guest, Adaku. Hello, hello my How lovely. Are you? And don't adjust your screen because look at the colour. It is all as you see. It's the most amazing colour that you've brought us here today. It's fa I've never seen fabric like this. <laughs> it's fabulous. And of course, you are a brand new supplier, a yes. lovely company. It's your company, Dovetailed yes. London. Yes. So it's so nice to have you here. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah, Thank so you so much how, for having me. How did you get here? So I was on maternity leave yeah. um, back in about 2017 and I was just thinking about something else that I could do um, other than being a barrister because I'd been a barrister for a few years yeah. and so I'd seen an advert um, for textile classes, evening classes in textiles um, at my sort of local adult learning centre and so I signed up and you know, I completely fell in love with sewing. Um, I bought a lovely machine and yeah, really took it from there. Well, it's amazing. And, I, and we've had a little chat before the show with Darko and I, so I knew all of that. But the fact that you are a barrister, a mum of three, yes. um, you've written books, you've got these lovely fabrics. I have a book. Oh, you have a book coming out. In the uh, summer. But that's just my future prediction <laughs> for you. You've been writing more books. We know it because you're incredible. Um, and then you've got these lovely fabrics on the patterns. I mean, my goodness me, it's just uh, what a success story. So it's Aww, amazing to have you thank here. Thank you so much. We're very lucky. Okay, so thank you. Shall we have a talk about your yes, lovely items let's then? Do. So can we just talk about this fabric first of all? Yeah. Two yards of fabric that you get in each of these individual items. Let's just talk about um, this fabric and what makes it so different. I mean, you can sure. see I'm wearing it. Sure. Um, that's not what makes it different. <laughs> but you can see how wearable it is. Yes. Um, it's, it's, a, it's an absolutely beautiful, beautiful fabric. By the way, the top is available in a pattern, isn't it? Yes, it we've is. got the pattern on this the show. It is. This is the Priscilla top that the you're Priscilla wearing. Um, but it, it feels lovely. So it, it is a, a cotton. It's 100% cotton. They're yeah. all 100% cotton. Um, they are printed using the wax resist method mm. of printing onto cotton, very similar to batik. Yeah. Um, so it all goes by the name of African wax print fabrics. Reason being that they, many of them, still have the original sort of African designs, motifs, mm. um, going back many, many years, in fact. Mm. Yeah, I have to say, um, and, and this is why I think I would really urge you to give it a go, and I'm glad that I'm wearing this top, because I think if you looked at this on this shelf and you didn't see it on the top that I'm wearing, you might look at that and go, that is not a wearable fabric. None of these, they're all too big, they're too bold. Yep. But I think when you see them made up, like in the dress yep. you're wearing, the Megan dress, yep. which is on the show, in the top that I'm wearing, actually you just look and go, that's just going to bring a smile to your face <laughs> as soon as you put it on exactly, every day. We, exactly. we should all be wearing more <laughs> colour. You know, let's just stop wandering around in black. But, you know, it, it's it's so lovely to wear. It feels no, great, lovely. but it looks great. Yes. Yeah. I would um, treat them as you would any medium weight cotton. Yes. So pre-wash and press before cutting and sewing, just to soften the fabrics up a little bit. Mm. Um, but they are all colour fast. In fact, when preparing for this show, I'm pretty sure I put about six of them in the machine at the same time to pre-wash. Wow! And, and they didn't absolutely run. Absolutely fine. Amazing, amazing. Well, we've got five options for you. Let's go through them. We'll sure. start with this one at the end. Now, this is the one that you are wearing, isn't yes. it, Adaku? Um, and this is called the Teardrops on Red. Yes. Okay, Teardrops on Red, that's that one. I have to say the next one is one of my favourites. Absolutely love that one, and it's called Rabina Leaves. It's, I mean, that's just that yellow and red is. I mean, imagine that in a top or in a dress. It would look amazing. Um, the next one is Sparkles and Stripes. Yep. So you can see that one. It's almost like a firework uh, sky, isn't it? Really, but that's absolutely fabulous. Yes. You've also got this one as well, Snowdrops on Purple. I think that's going to be a very popular one it's myself. Beautiful. Um, and then you've got this one. Uh, this is your netting on blue, which of course is the one that I'm wearing. Yes. Shall we open one out? Yes, because then we can actually see how much fabric we get. And we sure. are now starting to get busy. I think people <laughs> are getting the idea and, and getting brave. So good for you. <laughs> because, you know, like I say, at first, I think people would look at this and be a bit frightened of it. Sure. Uh, but so it's, look at that. This is two yards. Mm. Um, it's got a lovely kind of sheen. This is the wax thing then. Yes. It's got a sheen to it. I mean, it. this is the finish. Uh, when you've washed and pressed, yeah. this finish sort of um, comes away. Yes. But you are left with, as you can see, yes. just a very lovely medium weight cotton. Yeah. It's actually printed on both sides of the fabric. Yes. Um, 
And that really adds to the richness and the vibrancy mm. and really the depth of colour that you see. Yeah, yeah, amazing. So out of this then, Adaka, you could easily make, cause, could you make the Megan out of this? No. no. For the Megan, you would need um, four yards. Okay. They're sold by the yard. The width is 47 inches or about yeah. 120 centimetres. So they're on the narrower side of things. Yes. So, um, but the two yards is fine for the skirt, yep. the Althea skirt and the Priscilla top. Yes, perfect. So, could I make a top and a skirt out of this one? Or do I have to get two? You'd have to get two. You see, I'd be buying two. <laughs> I'd just be buying, because I'd want a skirt and a top now. Sure. And what I'd do is I'd put yeah, a yeah, really no, no. big belt yep. in the middle. Very nice. Yeah, very nice. I'm hinting heavily <laughs> at a darker. Yeah. I'd like a skirt, skirt. making. Yeah. <laughs> Fabulous. Right, okay, that's that one then. Yes. Sorry, I'm going to scratch you there. Um, so that is your first set. Sorry, this is not going to be very neat. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just move along. So a magic fairy will come <laughs> along. Right, OK. So are we moving on to this one now? Yes. OK. This is the pink butterfly. I think we should just open this up straight away because we can see once again how much we get. It's two yards again. Two yards once again. Once again, when you open it, you will see. Now, what is the difference? of this one because there is a price difference and it does feel different so yes yeah, so um with the um fabrics that are slightly um, more expensive yeah the quality of the cotton is what differentiates the prices yes. so with the um better value cottons um you have less drape mm. if you like than you have with the um more expensive ones yes yeah but it's still lovely. But, it, but it they're still 100% cotton. Nice. Yeah. People were actually buying this one before the hour. We're nearly a quarter of this stock gone already. Yes. Yeah, which is fantastic. No, I, it's great. I think a few of them people were already buying yeah, before we before the hour, which yeah. is brilliant. Now, in terms of us talking about tops and skirts, yes. what else could we make out of this fabric? Adark? So this fabric is perfect for quilting. Right. Upholstery. Lovely. Um, patchwork. Yeah bag making yeah because I didn't I didn't know if we could make those sorts of things yeah. out of here so oh we yes. absolutely can oh yes wow that would look amazing on a quilt wouldn't yes, it it would yeah it fantastic would. okay lovely well that <laughs> is that one that's nine seven four one seven four sorry nine four seven one seven four if you'd like to get hold of that one now let's move on to the five yards yeah. uh, just to point out as well you can't get these in the smaller cuts can no. you no and you can't get those in the bigger cuts no no <laughs> so it is just these two in five yards and you choose one or the other and these are absolutely huge i'm going to open it up huge. again <laughs> and this print oh it's to die for it's, it's pretty turquoise lovely. flower yeah. garden turquoise flower garden yeah does it matter which way it goes oh my goodness yes. me so so it goes is it this way Yep, perfect. <laughs> our, our poor director's going, what? <laughs> I'm going to press the button again to open up the camera. There we are, look. That's lovely. Wow, wow. I'm nearly out of the studio. <laughs> that is, can we just hold that as high as we can, Adaku? That is absolutely stunning. Come on, pull it out. That's like, look at that. <laughs> wow. I mean, those flowers as a statement piece on there <gasps> that's amazing gorgeous. well done to you for finding this beautiful fabric it's gorgeous it's stunning um so if you would like that piece of fabric it is 37 pounds and 49 pence 809287 um the other option as well is uh, the fireworks which we'll show you in a second yes let's just come in with this one then if we can yep. um wow that is amazing so once again yep. now can we dress make with this again? Oh, yes. Dress make, oh, yes. quilt, yes. patchwork make bags. Yes. Um, maybe you could make curtains. Yes, curtains. A blind. Cushions. You know, lovely rose in the middle of a blind. Scatter cushions, yep. Wow, amazing. Tablecloths. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I'm getting carried away there. I'm just going, yeah, yeah, yeah. My brain is working overtime. Let's have a look at this one because I just want people to see the pattern on this one as well. Sure. Which way? Is it that way? This is fine. Yep. Yeah. Is that? Nope, the other way. Other way. <laughs> oh, along. So, what other side? Oh, the other way, that way. There you go. Is that right? I think that's right. Okay. So, Sia would be happy with this one because she likes to swing from the chandelier. <laughs> uh, look at that. These are astounding. 
So the this Gruffalo. design actually dates back to the 1950s. Okay. So um, there are many fabrics that are actually a sort of a nod to certain mod cons. Yes. So at times when certain um, items were being bought by, say, the middle classes in Africa, yeah. And it's sort of a status symbol. Yes. You'll then get the repeat right. on a fabric. So, for example, irons, mobile phones, computers. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. I'm just, I'm flabbergasted. Is anybody else in the studio flabbergasted? <laughs> I, know, I know our lovely Paola over there is. I mean, you've I already, bought you bought this one. No, I bought this one. Yeah. Isn't that, Leone loves this one. It's just, I've never seen anything like it. It's like when I first went to see the, um, what's that big picture in, in Madrid, the, the Guernica? Ah, you know when you're looking for, stand in front of the Guernica and you go, wow, that's an amazing piece of art. That's how I feel. I need to go walk back into the camera now, it's so big. <laughs> I, oh, look, I haven't folded it or anything. No, it's okay. it's just like, <laughs> let's just start making with it. Okay, so that is all of the fabrics that we've got on the show. They are absolutely, sorry, it's not very pretty. Uh, they are tremendous if you want to get hold of that one that is 37 pounds and 49 pence that's 809287 as an item number come with me my darling let's have a look at these patterns now sure. so here there are no uh, fabrics you just buy your patterns and these are all obviously individual options so we've got the megan which is the dress that you're wearing yes Adaku. so um that's should, should we just have a can you can oh. she come out to the side a little model <laughs> I do love that there's pockets and everything. <laughs> I mean, what an amazing dress to wear. You walk in, I mean, I said to you when, you, when I walked in, you yeah, looked fantastic. You. No, but you just great. walk in and go, No, I really, wow. I really enjoyed making this one, I have to say. Yeah, <laughs> but it's, I mean, with the pockets, it's handy for yeah. people who are sewing. I mean, it's <laughs> lovely to wear just in your sewing room. But I have to say, if you walked into a room, I'd be following you across the room going, <laughs> <laughs> she go that she got it she got it good uh it is fabulous it's beautiful Thank i you. love 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 um so that is uh the dress and the details are there five nine nine two oh one i shall now come out for you <laughs> i've actually tucked mine up a little bit but if i just show you that i'll give you a little spin Very nice. so this one is the priscilla um, so obviously it goes, you can see it's got that little curve on there um, with the edging. But what I did was I just did that and a little tuck in like that so you can do it how you want. But I'm thinking actually if you wore it and you put a, you could put a lovely belt or if you did it with the skirt, you could make it, it would like a dress if you put the belt on. Love the neckline and the little sleeve is an interesting. I don't, is, that, is that a technical term for this sleeve? Because it's feels like a sort of like it should be called a flute sleeve or something no, I don't yeah. know just um, a one piece sleeve effectively because the bodice and the sleeve are one piece yeah so. yeah but it's very nice it's a very flattering top and so very very good for summer our lovely director is saying let's a lot of air in he says <laughs> yes very good but it's beautiful look at that fabric so the top is what you're buying the pattern for the top um, and that is 599201 and then we have the skirt yes which is over there yes. isn't it um, and it's a really lovely, lovely skirt. So if you'd like to be able to make that skirt, there are the details on your screen, 599201, uh, and it's the A-line skirt. And the sizes are from 8 to 18, um, and uh, it's an A-line skirt, obviously, in that beautiful fabric that we showed you at the top of the show. So some very wearable items. Yes, and for very all Sorry. different sizes that's what you're going to say weren't you no, just very easy to sew with which is good yeah, yeah which <laughs> is good um so easy to sew easy to work with easy to wear actually it's just color that's all you just need to do is bring that color into your wardrobe fabulous okay have a look on the website for all of your options because things are flying out of the door you are loving what we have on the show it is hochanda.com and you can find everything there uh, but already people have been buying before the show and the fabric that was very popular was the pink butterflies and that's uh, flying see what we did there with the butterflies um this hour as well so hochanda.com if you want to get in on the party of course you can pick up the phone uh, and give us a call as well it's totally up to you remember if you spend over 60 pounds in your shopping basket as well make sure you use that flexi pay option so you can divide that cost as well so do have a look at everything there right demonstration time then yes. my lovely so what are you going to make for us um well i just wanted to say that the megan yes. and the priscilla are in sizes 8 to 26 right did we say, we did, we did we not the put 26? The skirt was 8 to 18, yes. which is what you said. But, but the other top's two up are to 26. Up to 26. That's good to know, <laughs> good to know, yeah. Lovely, okay. So, so, I'm going to be demoing to start with 
the skirt just to show how the inseam pockets are attached. So I've yes. already attached one inseam pocket here mm. and I'm going to attach the second. So here are the two pieces of the pocket. Yeah. I've already overlocked one edge of the seam, the other side of the seam. Mm. And I'm now going to overlock the second. And by the way, of the um, fabrics that we showed you at the top of the show, uh, this was one of them. This is the most popular fabric out of all of those choices. So people are loving it. It's because you're wearing it. It <laughs> just look fabulous. I mean, it's just that explosion of colour, isn't it? It's amazing. I'm afraid it's going to be a bit loud. Sorry. Don't worry. <laughs> we can cope. <laughs> Whoa! People think there are aircraft I know. at home. <laughs> Overlockers. I'm not even attempting to speak. <laughs> okay. So now okay. um, we'll be ready to sew that seam. Yeah. And I will. Sorry. I'll try and s swap them so I get out my sewing the machine. machine. Shall I move this one out of the way? Yes. Like Are you that. okay? Is that okay? Yep, okay. that's fine. And do you need this one again? Well, Poss you possibly, can, you can but plug you it can, we can you? plug it back in. See so if I just take... <laughs> okay, I'll just leave that. <laughs> that. It's fine. Okay. Just hide the wire. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. There we go. <laughs> so now, <coughs> what we will do, we'll cut away our loose thread there. So had you literally not sewn before? No. Honestly, you no. not sewn before, no. and you just thought, I'm just gonna. Yes, I'll I'm just. Just gonna give it a go. Yes, I'll give it a go and see if I like it because I'd seen the sewing bee. I'd seen um, Charlotte Newland on the sewing bee. Yes. I think that was the last one before they stopped for a while. Yes. And I didn't really understand what was going on, but I was intrigued. Mm. You know, yeah. when you don't sew, you think, what are they talking about? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, but I, I was intrigued enough to think, well, OK. So then when a month or so later I saw this advert for um, the classes, I thought, that's a good idea. Yeah. Let me give it a go. So there'll be notches on um, both side seams, and there are also notches on the pocket that will mm. show you where they line up. Yeah. So I'll just line those up now. I work with Charlotte Newland. Work with? Or well, she teaches my she teaches oh, courses for oh, me. Oh, she's yes. lovely, isn't so she? So she is, uh, she's she a, a fabulous person. She's Just very, very lovely. funny. Um, yeah, she's very funny. We've had some lovely long conversations. Um, yeah, so um, how long was it before you made your first dress? So you obviously, did you just buy so some fabric and start playing? Well, no, bit? because I'd always um, worn these fabrics, yeah. parties and um, sort of family events. So when it came to sewing and the tutor would say, well, bring a fabric for your project, I was always bringing these. Yes. Um, and I think there was a look of horror, the sort of what can patterns. Yeah, yeah. Don't bring patterns, don't yeah. bring prints. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think they much prefer you just to bring a solid colour, yes. especially when you're starting. Mm. Um, and so then when I started making things like bags, they were always in these fabrics mm. and it just carried on from there. from there yeah incredible um, so what I've done is I've lined up the at the notches I've lined up the raw edge of the pocket this pocket piece yes. with the raw edge of the side seam okay and then you will do the same with the other pocket yeah. and these are put together right side to right side Yeah. And in the patterns, I mean, how, in yep. what are the instructions like in here? Sure. So um, the patterns will include, yep, a full size um, multi coloured yes. pattern. Yes. And um, the best thing to do is to trace it out first rather than trying to sort of 
cut into that. You know, okay. It'd be nice just to leave that in good condition. Yeah. Um, but to trace out that in your size. Yes. It also includes instructions, an A5 instruction booklet. Yeah. Yes, the little booklet's here, look. The little booklet's there. Yeah, so I'll just show you that. Yeah, there you are. So nice instructions in there as well. So do you think then um, that people could actually do this if they were beginners? These are perfect for beginners. Mm. These are really perfect for beginners. Yeah. Um, a, they're good for beginners if you're new to sewing. They're also good if you're new to working with these fabrics yes. or both. Yes. Um, they are, you know, I specifically kept the pattern simple mm. so that you could make as much of the fabric as possible so yeah. that the fabrics can really sing and that you're not sort of cutting into them too much. Well, can I give out my li own little bit of experience in this as well as to how, how easy they are? So basically, I... Uh, run courses and I ran a course recently that was for uh, dressmakers and quilters now it was mostly quilters and the afternoon project was a dressmaking project and Heather Jacks who um, is one of the ladies who teaches for me who was also a sewing bee winner uh, she decided to bring in fabrics like this and at first the ladies were like whoa <laughs> what do we do with those and then she made them uh, or taught them to design their own top and make it and I will tell you that at the end of that afternoon it was sure. a three hour class and they were all terrified at the beginning and they all were quilters not dressmakers and at the end they all had a top amazing and it worked yes. and they all you know loved it so j i've seen it i've witnessed it that these fabrics are actually quite easy to work with which yep. is what heather was saying yep. because of you know the way they are made and yes. the fabrics um, but also the top as well is actually quite simple so i agree with you i've seen it firsthand that you you could you could start definitely oh definitely definitely so what i'm doing um just to attach each pocket piece to each side of the skirt yeah. at one side seam is I'm using a quarter of an inch seam allowance mm. and I've started roughly an inch or so before the pocket and I will stop about that distance from the bottom of the pocket. Yes. And it's okay to pin. I mean, even though we've got this kind of wax oh, yeah. thing going on, it's fine oh, to yeah. pin. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. You can see how easily it's going through, though. I think in a way as well, it strikes me this fabric, I mean, I might be wrong, but mm. it strikes me that it would actually be easier to work with than a lot of other fabrics that were perhaps a little bit silky or flimsy because, you know, it's yes. they're quite difficult because you, you've got to be really precise. Because if you get a bit of gathering yeah. in something that's silky, you've yeah. had it. Yeah. Whereas yeah. this, I would think, is a bit more forgiving. It's a very forgiving. I was about to use that word. It's very forgiving mm. fabric. Um, you know, just a quick press. And <laughs> I like to say a quick press and all is forgiven. Yes. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Yeah. And um, yes, certain fabrics, you know, if you have to unpick, it will never let you forget, mm. will it, that no. you, you unpicked at that particular point? Yes. <laughs> and I'll do the same with the other side. Okay. I've got a question for you as yes. well. Um, where did the name for your company come from? I'm always intrigued by <laughs> names, dovetails. <laughs> so it's the, um, the technique of laying fabric when it doesn't have a nap or a direction or a, a nape or anything. Yeah. Um, you can dovetail the fabric, you can literally, um, rather than having to follow the direction of any yeah. fabric, you can effectively lay them like this, I'm trying yes. to get my, like this, Yes. for a more economical lay, okay. and that's dovetailing, so that's where the name came from. Brilliant. <laughs> And how old is your company now? Okay, so um, I started the company roughly in about 2017, 2018, yeah. around then. Yeah. yeah, fabulous. And on TV already. <laughs> Amazing. You said that you were saying when we were doing the Facebook video that you've, you've been here, I can't remember how long you said. Yeah, I've only been here <laughs> no, it's not been five years. <laughs> Does it feel like five years? 
Uh, no, for me, when did I join? January. Oh. Yes, it was January. Yes. I discussed it in, in December and then was invited in January. So okay. it's, it's been, but I, I do feel part of the team and feel oh, very at home. That's I was just great. saying to Power today, actually, who I've got a lovely show coming up with, <laughs> um, that it's, it's so nice here and people are so lovely and warm and oh. genuine and friendly. Yes. Uh, and, uh, uh, and it is, it's, it's, a, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to be here. And I get to work with lots of lovely and different new guests. Yes. You know. Yes. So let me try and show this. So you have attached one bit of the pocket, one yes. side half of the pocket. Yes. And here you have your other half of the pocket. Mm. And you'll bring them together like so. And you can see the bag coming together. Yes. Yeah. And if I start at the top of the seam, mm. I'll pin, use my bigger pins. Yeah. Do we need an overlocker, by the way? Because obviously you did start with overlocking. Yes, um, it was it's just to neaten the, the, the raw edge, edge of I the I think you seam. can actually replicate overlocking. Kind of course, of you can use your over edge you? stitch. Yeah. Yes. So yet you don't, yes, to answer the question, you don't need an yeah. overlocker, but it is worth um, neatening the raw edge mm. because when I've been sewing in a hurry, I haven't. And years later, fabric's fine, mm. but the raw edge does then begin to fray. Mm. It's not so bad because the fabric is quite structured, but yeah. if you can, then do. Okay. So then what you will do when you're sewing, I'll just put a few more pins in and then just explain how you will sew this. I think you're inspiring our director. Oh, good. Yeah. Good, good. Webster. Good. He's just said he wouldn't mind trying to make a child's dress. Oh, yes. I don't think he wants to start on a big dress. <laughs> Just a child. Good. Oh, maybe that was a doll's oh, dress. Oh, doll's dress. And he doesn't have any children, strangely, <laughs> but he wants to... Yeah, or maybe we just make one for Paula, because she, she's <laughs> tiny. She's tiny. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the way you would stitch this is, you would start here using a one centimetre seam allowance. Yes. Stitch all the way to here. Mm. Needle down, pivot and then continue across the top of the bag here, yeah. down the side of the bag here, around the curve, again, needle down here, here. Yes. Pivot again, and then all the way down yeah. to the end of the skirt. Yes. Okay, so I'll quickly do that now. That's, and you would just do that mm. on both sides, mm. and there are your pockets in. Okay. Well, while you're doing that, we yes. are going to just um, have a little recap of yes. what we've got on the show for you. Uh, so basically, as we were saying, we've got these uh, amazing, amazing fabrics. Um, and we've also got the patterns as well. So three options. You've got your beautiful skirt that we mentioned first of all. And uh, that's an A-line skirt. And that is size 8 to 18, 17 pounds and 99 pence. That's 599201. That's called the Priscilla. Um, and that is 8 to 26. Yep. Yeah. And then we've also got the Megan tunic as well. And that, of course, is the dress that Adako is wearing today. And that's 8 to 26 as well. So 599201, that's your item number. But let's have a look at these absolutely beautiful fabrics. Uh, they are amazing. I mean, if you look at the sort of pop of colour that I'm wearing. And I, d I, I have to say, if you showed me this fabric and said, right, we'll you know, make a top out of this, I would have gone, ooh, I'm not so sure that's going to work. Uh, but actually, when you pop it on, both the girls, Paula and um, Leone, were in the dressing room and both went, wow, that looks amazing on your skin. It's like a, and I came in wearing red and they didn't have that effect. So it is, <laughs> it is fantastic to have this wonderful color. So I would say just give it a go, experiment. I mean, if we just hold up some different colors for you, look. So for example, you've got this one. So if you imagine that, you know, I mean, that's a lovely, that's actually a very pretty print, I think. That could be a really pretty top. So that's that one. That's the snowdrops on purple. And then let's have a look at the next one. And this is your sparkles and stripes. 
So I suppose it depends how you work with that fabric. I don't know, would you have to have the pattern that way or you could have it that way? Either. Either way. So you can decide whether you want the stripe to go that way or whether you want the stripe to go that way. But that's a very interesting fabric as well. Remember, as Adarka was saying, you can quilt with these, you can patchwork, you can also, you know, make bags if you want to. It's not just dressmaking. This, you see, this is the one I would go for, I think, if I was shopping, because it's got the red. And this has got that wonderful, I mean, look at that. <gasps> that's almost, yes, there is a Spanish vibe. There is definitely a Spanish vibe going on there. We should ask Paula that. She would know if there's a Spanish vibe. But that is beautiful, isn't it? Love that colour. Absolutely love that. So as a top, if you imagine that, yeah. Yeah, look. Oh, hang on. Try not to hurt my microphone there. But if you imagine that as a top, that would be absolutely beautiful, wouldn't it? Yeah. So you see, just you, you've got to just use your imagination. And then we've got this wonderful fabric that, of course, Adaku is wearing today. This is well in the lead, 40% gone. I'm not surprised because when you see it in that Megan dress, it looks amazing. But look at that. It's that colour. It's that amber and that red and that pattern. I mean, it looks incredibly expensive, I think. It's called Teardrops, teardrops on Red, but it looks incredibly expensive. That is fab. I could see our Leona dressing in a, in, a, in a dress out of that, actually. I could. I could I very much. She's that's, that's like her. Very vibrant. Do you want it? Leona, come in. Come in. Leona, come in. She's not mic'd up. She's not mic'd up. She can stand close. Not mic'd up. Oh, I just want to put it against you as like a little dress. Right. Do you imagine? Yes. You see? Isn't that beautiful? Just step to the side. Step to the side so we can see you. Full length. Full length. Look at that. See, wouldn't that be marvellous? I think you would look amazing in that, Leonie. Isn't that fabulous? Fabulous. Can't hear her, but um, she's saying it's fabulous. Paula has bought the skirt, hasn't she? Yes. She's already got it. Yeah. Mm, I know. Uh -huh. I love it. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye Kev. See you, Kev. See you, Kev. <laughs> see you, Kev. <laughs> <laughs> I could. I could see Leonie in that now, that dress. I really could. She looks amazing. So, it's up to you. Which fabric are you going to go for? 789116 is your item number and then you just choose from teardrops on red, rabina leaves, sparkles and spikes, stripes rather, snowdrops on purple and netting on blue. Lovely. Okay, so should we move on to the pink butterflies? There you are. So pink butterflies. Ooh, this is lovely. Now a slightly different fabric because as you will notice the price has gone down. So it's about the cotton. Um, this is 100% cotton. So I presume this is slightly less than, a, is this? No, it's still 100% but it's just the way the cotton is put <coughs> together. So you have a finer grade of cotton. A You've obviously got cottons that are yeah. 35 pounds a meter, right. 40 pounds a meter. So it's just how fine, how drapey. How drapey, how fine it is. I see. I'm, I'm <laughs> learning. I love our guests like this. I'm learning. So look, if you want to be able to get hold of this wonderful fabric, uh, that's absolutely beautiful as well. 70% of that stock has gone. It's been very popular, this one, probably because of those lovely uh, pink butterflies there on that blue. It's just those colours are just working together. Um, 947174 is your item number if you would like to get hold of that one. And then we've got the five yard fabric. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I can hold this one myself because it is huge. Uh, but I do want to show you that, if I can just show you one of these prints. Let me just hold it up there. And then you can see, look at that. Look at that flower. Now this is the most popular option at the moment in the five yards you are absolutely loving that but imagine that on a blind um, or as we were saying quilt or cushions or whatever I mean whatever your imagination where it takes you really it is absolutely gorgeous maybe some kind of duvet cover or I tell you what would look nice you know when you go to hotels and they have that strip along the bed don't they that bottom bit yes you could have that as a kind of on throw on the bed Lovely. Yeah, absolutely fabulous. So that is 3749809287. We are talking about exceptional quality fabrics. We are talking about 
beautiful patterns and pops of colour. No, it's not very folded very nicely. Um, this one based on that 50s print that Adarka was talking about there with the chandeliers. Um, there you are, look, there you are. And this is repeated um, all along the way. And I forget, is this double sided? Is, is this the same on both sides as well? They're all printed on yeah, both sides. Yeah, they're all sides. printed on both sides, which gives it that depth of colour. But it's that royal blue with that perfect red. And then the other kind of silvery colour running through it there. I mean, absolutely stunning. So again, 809287. You just have to decide which one you would like. Um, then we've got the patterns, of course. You don't have to buy the fabrics. You can just buy the patterns. And you can make these tops out of the fabrics that you desire. If you want to use the fabrics we're using, amazing. But if you want to uh, use your own fabric, then you absolutely can. So you've got your skirt, you've got your lovely top, and you've got your Megan dress. And all neck and neck in popularity. 599201 is your item number, 17 pounds and 99 pence uh, for whichever one of those you are going to go. Are they all 17.99? Yes, they are. All $17.99, but they're options and slightly different sizes. The biggest size is in the top and the dress, up to 26 in those. Um, but yes, it, look at this one. It's just lovely when it's in that, that, um, that fabric as well. So I would suggest that you go to the website, have a look. I think you could easily spend £60 or more on this show. And if you do spend £60, of course, you could use your FlexiPay option. So you can divide that cost as well, which is lovely. So do have a look there, hochanda.com. If you just want to give us a call and say, I want that fabric and describe, if you want to describe what it is, if you can't remember numbers, just say, you know, it's the one with the yellow and the red, like teardrops. And then they'll be able to work it out for you. I want the chandelier. I want the one with the purple butterfly. Pick butterflies. And that's all you have to do. So pick up the phone, give us a call, or go onto the website, which of course is hochanda.com. Perfect. We're going to come back now and carry on our dress uh, that Adaka was making for us. Yes. So the skirt, um, once you have <coughs> put the pockets on, yes. um, you will then make up your waistband. Yes. So the waistband is integrated. Um, once you've made the waistband, you'll then thread through the elastic, all the instructions mm. are in the booklet. Um, the threading through of the elastic will create the gather that you see on the skirt over there. Um, and then once you've done that, you hem and your skirt is finished. Easy. So what I want Easy to do, <laughs> what I'd like to do now is move on to the top yes. and um, show your viewers how to attach bias binding. Okay. Um, You've got some lovely binding on your top. I, I have do. some binding on my top. I think it works really well. It just with sets these it off. Fabrics. It, it really yeah, sets it, it off, set as it you off. say. Yeah. So. I can imagine as well with these tops, you could just wear the most amazing jewellery. So you could have, right, round your neck here, you could have a really big piece of like green jewellery or yeah, blue nice. or something like big, big, you know, big beads. Yes. That would nice. look amazing. It or maybe would. a big bit of amber. Oh, yeah. A nice amber stone. Yes. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, so when attaching um, the binding, I like to start by just folding the binding to the wrong side of the binding using a sort of one centimetre fold. Mm. And then I line up that fold with the seam allowance on the top of the sleeve line. Mm. I'll then pin there. So I'm lining up the raw edge of the binding with the raw edge of the sleeve. Yep. This is shop bought, so it's in those sort of perfect, um, it's got those perfect folds. And essentially what you will do, I'm not sure it can be seen that well, can it? Because it's black. <laughs> but there will be a line here, a fold line. Oh, you can see. And you will, once you've pinned, stitch along that fold line. Yes. So I'll just keep pinning. Mm. So tell me about your work as a barrister. Okay. Because this intrigues me. Oh, does it? So <laughs> did you <laughs> So did you want to be a barrister from, from being at school? Yes, yeah, so when I was 14 I wanted to be a barrister. Amazing. Um, and so I went to university, I studied law with English, and then I went to law school. And then I um, did my pupillage, as it's called, and then I started in chambers. And I was in chambers um, for a about 15 years or so. So our director just asked a very childish question, oh but right. actually it's quite intriguing. Did you just wear one of those wigs? You know, <laughs> you know, the silvery ones? Yes, 
Yes. Made of horse hair. Yes. I did. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it was good fun. It was good fun. Yeah. And you were and you said you were in London doing that? Mainly, um, I practiced quite a lot in Kent actually. Yeah. Um, and all over. Essentially, we would go where the case was. And depending on where a person had been arrested, or yeah. that would so sometimes determine where the hearing was. As I was going to say to you, so in terms of being a barrister, sure. So are you a defence? Is so you can you can be a prosecution or a defence barrister, can yeah, you? Or both. Or both. So were you both? Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. There are so many questions. <laughs> I have so many questions. Oh gosh. <laughs> but probably for off camera. Maybe off camera. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 They're asking me all sorts of questions, and I'm not going to ask them. But, but isn't yeah. isn't now a good time to be buying fabric and sewing? Exactly. I mean, this is what on. we need to do. We need to just buy fabric, sit in and sit sew, in and be sew, safe and just sew. <laughs> I can't think of a better way to spend two weeks. <laughs> exactly, two weeks. No, let's not go with the four month option. No. Let's, let's just let's hang on in there for the next two weeks. <laughs> Says she with an event that oh. has had to be postponed. I know you are saying, <laughs> but we have so to be safe. We have to be safe. Um, when you brought the binding round to where you were originally started pinning, mm. I'd just let it hang over. I'd extend it slightly beyond your original start position um, by about half an inch or so. Yes, and then you're ready to start sewing. Okay. So I'm going to remove, I don't know how well you can see that, but this just frees up this area here on the machine, mm. makes it much narrower. And it's perfect for when you're sewing something like a sleeve, yes. which is quite narrow yeah. and it can easily fit over. So putting um, the needle into that fold line or groove that I mentioned earlier, mm. I'll put my needle down remove the pin and start sewing, following that line the whole way round. While you are sewing the whole way round there, <laughs> we have news. Um, we've been saying all the way that this has been really, really popular, this fabric, and it is actually now limited stock. So if you're wanting to get hold of the pink butterfly fabric, it is now limited. So I would jump on that website as soon as you can, hochana.com, or pick up the phone and give us a call and grab hold of yours before it flies, flies away. <laughs> so lovely. It is that kind of fabric that you just want to stroke and start sewing with and <laughs> play with. It's beautiful. Um, a little tip when you're starting um, with it is to use chalk. Mm. Um, on my pocket here, this is a patch pocket that I may come to later. Yeah. I don't know if you can see, I've used chalk to mark a line. Yes. And this line tells me that this is the wrong side of the fabric. Oh, okay. Because there's not much difference between the wrong and the right side, once you've started cutting and you've cut away your selvage, Yes. If I go back slightly, you can see there's writing on the selvage. Yes. And that writing is sort of the right way up okay. on the right side. So this is the right side of the fabric. Because it reads clearly. And then when you read it on the other side, you can see that it's backwards writing, so that's the wrong that's side the of the wrong fabric. That's the wrong side. But once you've started cutting, mm. that's gone. Mm. And you will, you will not be able to tell. Yeah. Some of them you may, because the wrong side will be slightly faded, yeah, slightly. That, that would be very difficult to tell But on it would be one. normally quite hard to tell. So I use chalk. I mark the wrong side with a chalk. Yeah. And then once I've cut away, I've still got some chalk lines that will tell me yeah. that that's the wrong side. Uh, well, just to say, talking about, uh, you know, this salvage edge going, uh, when it's gone, it's gone when you cut it off. Well, the fabric is gone because it's sold out. Ooh. Yay! <laughs> so well done to you if you got hold of that. That has gone. We still do have the other fabric, though. Uh, if you want to get hold of that, available on the website, ochanda.com. Lovely. You see, I think this one, I think this is probably one of the safest options in this fabric. If people are wanting to give pattern and colour a little go. A little go. And then you've still got the black background yes. here. So I think this is actually a, quite a safe one for you to uh, to play with. Yes. If, you, if the other colours really frighten you. <laughs> you, were, um, you were asking me about direction in, on yes, this. So that's I'll, right. I'll hold this up in a minute so people can see yeah. an option. Yes. It's good though that you can switch it because you might have a preference on that pattern, you? might have a preference. You? Yeah.
and then make sure when you come back and you won't be able to see so i'll finish and then i'll hold bring it out from under the machine so just to say that when you as it were come back to the beginning that yes. you make sure that you you line up that fold mm. so that it meets neatly yes. with the point where you started yeah and then snip away your threads mm -hmm. the before i carry on with that let me just hold this up you yes people might want oh to i see yeah yeah so hang on yeah there we go uh-huh yeah. so that's one way yeah this is the priscilla top yeah it's amazing though isn't it how different that priscilla top looks to mine <laughs> It's amazing. It's a totally different vibe. <laughs> yeah. I think that would be quite flattering as well, you know, as a design, because it's got that stripe that's going yes, downwards. Yes, yes. Very flattering, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. Yeah. And as I say, I think that's probably the safest one because it's it, that pattern's not too out there. Sure. Because you've got that, you know, that black in the background. Sure. Yeah. But I'd just go for it personally. I'd just <laughs> go for the colour. Right, you've got 11 minutes left. So okay. how, are we, um, how are we doing? So um, what you will do then is trim down yeah. this um, seam that's been created by the stitch line that you've just sewn. 11 minutes isn't long. <laughs> is that not enough time? No, it's okay. It does go quick, doesn't it? It does. By the way, if you want to watch uh, a little chat that I had with Adaku, it is on me, on me? It's on me Facebook. Uh, it's on my Facebook. Um, Hochanda, the Rachel Pierman on Hochanda uh, Facebook account that I have. So you can have a look there. I did a little, did a little film, didn't we, before yes. the show little chat it. So do have a look at that if you want to. So what I will do, I'll finish this, and then on the tunic, I will demonstrate the bust out. Okay how to sew those. Lovely. They're very small. Mm. Yeah, and darts, I think, uh, uh, sometimes people become worried about those, can't they? Yes. Do you know, it's been fantastic, though. Uh, one thing I really like here at Hochanda is that when we bring you a new guest, uh, like our lovely Adaku today, that you actually really support people and you buy. Uh, we've had some emails as well saying welcome oh, to you, thank which you. has been lovely. Thank you so um, much. And they are loving this fabric, oh good. which is brilliant. Because <laughs> like I say, it can go two ways. People can be a little bit frightened of it sure. or they can jump on board. <laughs> um, but I think the fact that it's so versatile is a good thing. Another great idea as well, Sally apparently has emailed in and said that she has used this sort of fabric to cover journals with. Yes, now I've done that. that's a nice yes, idea, yes, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, you could see that that would, yes, it that would, would work. It would, yes. Yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm using um, the other fold edge to cover the original stitch line. Yeah. And I will put that in place with pins. I love it as well, Adaka, how you've brought your uh, pins that coordinate perfectly <laughs> with your nail varnish. <laughs> yeah, just for, for, the, for the purposes of TV. <laughs> She's left her blue ones at home. <laughs> left the red ones that go with yeah. the nails. So it's all working. Good. That's what we like. And so do remember... Oh, sorry, go on. Yeah. So essentially you'd pin um, yeah. all the way around um, until you got to where you started and then I'll just start to show that you will stitch slightly in mm. from the edge of that original stitch line yes hiding the stitch line from the other side the wrong side and catching mm. the fold edge that you have folded under so I will just sew a little bit yep because we're slightly short of time and I'll finish that later okay. <laughs> so I can show the bus dart. Yes. And do you remember, as we've been saying, if you would like to make um, this top uh, or the skirt or the dress, 
that Adarko is wearing, you can buy just the pattern. You don't have to buy the fabric. We have got the Megan, we've got the Priscilla, which is what I'm wearing, and we've got the Althea as well. Where are the names from? Why did you <gasps> choose the names? Mm. So the, um, they're all named after, because the book I've got coming out, so between the book, in yeah. the book, there are 25 patterns. Right. Um, garments and accessories, all named after women I've known, women I respect, women I admire. Yes. Um, so yes, some friends, some yeah. other people. So <laughs> okay, yeah. so can I ask a question? Is Megan, oh. is it after the Megan? Oh, I don't know if you can ask that question. <laughs> oh, maybe we can't, uh, we can't affiliate it. <laughs> no, I'm not sure we can. No, but can. if you were inspired by her, <laughs> if you liked her, <laughs> we'll just leave that hanging there, shall we? <laughs> um, Priscilla, as in Presley? <laughs> <laughs> it's also nice because people, I think, either know someone with that name. You know, someone said to me, oh, my mother was called Megan. Yes. Or it's just a sort of an association that yeah. people then form with the patterns, which is quite nice. Yes, yeah. And then what's the other one? Uh, Al is Althea. That, is, is that you say Althea? Althea. Nice name, Althea. Yeah. 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 Is that, what, what, where's that come from, that name, Althea? So it's Spanish. I, I, I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah. I don't know. There have been a few Althea's. Um, I don't know where it's from, actually. I don't know, but I'm going to send it to my friend tonight because she is heavily pregnant <laughs> um, and they cannot come up with a name. They know they're having a little girl. Okay. So, and she was going through all these names and okay. she didn't mention Althea. So I'm going to ah, say, what about Althea? Yeah. It's a nice That's name. A nice name. Mm. That's a nice name. Yeah, very much. <laughs> very much so. So just to show, this is the um, other sleeve, which I did earlier. Yes. So that's how it would look when finished. Mm. Nice, neat. <coughs> bound sleeve. Okay. And then, if I can quickly show... Yes, you've got about five minutes. ...the bust dart on the tunic. Yeah. Find the right... Yes. So the bust darts are at the front. So this is the front pattern piece where the pockets are. I'm sorry if I'm moving too quickly for the camera. <laughs> um, a little tip about the patch pockets. Best thing is to use carbon paper. I don't know how well you can see this at all, but I have traced the pocket. You can see that, can't you, slightly? Yes. It's yep. not great, sorry. I've traced the um, pocket outline. Here's the pocket. Onto the front. Mm. But when tracing, only trace the sides the bottom mm. and the other side, not the top. Okay. Because what you will find is that when you, as it were, look down, yes. you'll be able to see that top line because ah. you've used carbon paper. Okay. But if you only trace out the sides and the bottom, they will be hidden yeah. when you place your pocket on top mm. and stitch round. Yes. So the darts, you will use carbon paper from the wrong side. They are in the shape of a sort of very, very long triangle, mm. a very long and thin triangle. And they're designed um, just to help give shaping around the bust area. Mm. Match up the raw edges so that if you like, you folded that triangle in half and each line is matching the other from the other side. Mm. And then use your pin to hold that in place. Yes. Not in that way, <laughs> because it's better at right angles. But I was just trying to demonstrate as best I could. And then really important to press, not much pressing space. <laughs> and do remember on the patterns, all the instructions are included. You've got that wonderful coloured pattern there that you can um, 
trace uh, and, and, and copy and then you've got all the instructions in the little booklet and you don't have to use these fabrics and you have got then some just very wearable tops for you to use and skirts and dresses so all those are available on the website hopechannel.com and the other fabrics are all available apart from that one which has sold out but the other ones have been exceptionally busy as well so thank you to everyone who has shot with us today on the website and on the phones. So you'll um, stitch from the raw edge following your traced line towards the point mm. at the point you won't back stitch instead you'll pull leave a long thread which you'll then double knot to finish that stitch line yes so if i show you quickly now Pull away. <laughs> My bobbin finished great. <laughs> ah, just in time. Just in time. <laughs> so you would, oh no, not quite. Too soon. Never mind. Oh, never mind. We can but you would yeah. um, knot twice from there. Yep. And then from the right side, you will have your dart. Mm. It um, reduces the area in that space in order to create shaping in the bodice. Excellent. And I think some people are quite frightened about darts, and you've shown that it's quite easy. It's very them. easy. Yeah. yeah. Well, was the show easy? <laughs> it was, wasn't it? It wasn't bad. <laughs> it wasn't bad. <laughs> nervous. I was nervous, wasn't I? You were nervous, nervous. but you've been absolutely an, a joy oh, to have on the show. You. And I've, I've loved what you brought for us today. I love the fabrics. They just bring um, laughter and, and, and light into your life, which is what we all need at the moment. So mm, I think they're, they're an absolute joy to work with. Thank you. Yeah, so thank you so much, my lovely. Thank you for having me. And do you know when, when you're back again, have they scheduled another show with you? Um, they haven't yet, no. Well, they will be. <laughs> They'll be waiting at that door <laughs> saying, right, come on, get your diary yeah. out. Good. Well, thank you. Um, you lovely. can, of course, go shopping on the website, hopechannel.com. Now we're going. But don't forget, you've got the three options of patterns. You've got those fabrics, amazing fabrics, and uh, Massive five yards of fabric as well. They are just the most astounding uh, patterns I've ever seen. So do give it a go. Give pattern and colour a bit of a go and make yourself smile. Thank you to you. Thank you. Thank you to you. Thank you for your lovely emails as well. I'm going to be back in an hour's time, but don't worry, because Adam and Leone are up next.